Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Well, about four years or so ago, the, the Historical Society in Montauk here agreed that a, an effort should be put forth to recognize what we term as original locals, you know, the first people here on Montauk. It's kind of an awareness and a history of the land. We're calling this our first annual archaeology fest. Um, this is a gathering of experts in the field of flint napping, fire starting techniques, uh, pottery making, tanning hides, and skills related to ancient life. I want lovely sugar. I have maple sugar. Native Americans would get this from maple trees that get the sap. My name is Joan. I'm an employee with Suffolk County Archaeological Association. We have children's programs. We do Native Life with the children hands-on program Hoyt Farm in Comac and we have another site in Smithtown at Blydenburg Park where we do a colonial program hands-on with children. With the children we teach them uh, how to make a Native American corn cake using all ingredients that were available to the Native Americans on Long Island, the Algonquins. We have cherries, cranberries, corn, blueberries, we have seeds, we have pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, we have walnuts and hazelnuts just showing the children exactly what was available. The children will cut their ingredient using an oyster shell. Native Americans didn't have metal knives, so that shows the children how the Native Americans had to work to cut their food. We also make a vegetable soup. The children do the same thing. They cut up the vegetables that were available to the Native Americans, and they add them to a soup, a soup at our site using a clay pot. It's just gonna take a minute or two. Nothing is modern. We cook the pancakes on a steatite griddle. Native Americans would go to Rhode Island or Connecticut and they would trade for that rock and they would bring it back. And the children, when they come to our site, will cook on the steatite griddle on the fire and see exactly what it was like. On my tech table, we have the Native American, the animals the Native Americans were hunting, the otters, the beavers, the uh, raccoons, the skunks and uh, we have rabbits. We also have some uh, tools that the Native Americans used as well that the children can touch. Our program is a hands-on program. The children enjoy touching and doing everything. Many children already have a lot of the history when they come to us. Some are learning it for the first time. Some can be kindergartners who are very small, but it opens those children's eyes as small as they are to the way the Native Americans lived. We have some scallions over here and some green beans. I'll separate a few out so it's a bit clearer. They would take the shell, they would hold the ingredient, and they would slice. And it goes through the ingredient very nicely. It's just a natural oyster shell. It has, just has a natural um, pointiness to it, natural sharpness that would work for cutting these things. And for seeds, they would use a rock. They have a few pumpkin seeds here a mortar and muller, they would just take the rock and they would press the seeds and they would make a powder. You do the same with a walnut or a hazelnut, they would crack it and once again they would take the nuts and they would press and they would. It takes work and that's part of what we show the children who come to our program. These things took time and they took effort. We had acorn flour and we had corn flour and we used a chicken egg, but Native Americans did not have chickens. They used turkey eggs, duck eggs, goose eggs, and even turtle eggs. Nothing out of the box, and that's the whole point. It's all hands-on. And a very important thing, I think when the children leave our program, they really have their eyes open. So. These are the corn cakes that we made today on our steatite griddle. You can contact us. We have at Suffolk County Archaeological Association. You can go online, look it up, SuffolkCountyArchaeological.org, and you can see our um, our program.